So today, I'm having one of those kind of, this quarantine stuff is getting to me days. And I have been all up in my feelings, been emotional, missing my kids, those kind of things. And I thought, well, maybe some of you are doing the same. So let's get out of this funk with the Pure and Trolls Funk Palette. <laughs> so I am gonna show you a look and how I created the look that I have with this palette. And I'm also going to show you what's in the latest trend mood box. As you know, this is not an unboxing channel. This is a review channel. So we'll be reviewing all the items in the box. Not all of them today. But I thought it would be interesting to show you what comes in the trend mood box. Just because that is a box that shows you all of, you know, a chunk of new release products. Which I thought is kind of fun. So we'll be looking at those. What came in that box. How I got this look. And we'll be doing a chatty get ready with me. And hopefully by the time we're finished, we'll all be in a little bit of a brighter mood. So if that sounds good, then stay with me and let's get right into it. And this is About Face with Mona, and this is the channel geared towards everything for the mature woman, skincare, beauty, and lifestyle. I am just your everyday woman, flawed, imperfect, but I try to be a good person, and I love playing with color and looking at things that can enhance our beauty at our age. I'm not a makeup artist, just a makeup enthusiast, and this is just... A a channel where everybody's welcome and we can just come relax and be ourselves. So thus, no makeup or even close to it today. Hair that needs a good dye and a trim. So let me hear from you in the comments. Let me know how all of you are doing. You know, we're getting some time into this situation and I imagine for some of you it's not feeling like a vacation anymore. Some of you, I think this is tinted, yes. This is tinted, so we'll see how this goes because it looks a little dark for my complexion. So anyway, just I'm thinking about all of you. Um, I think that I've been very emotional the last couple of days. Some trouble sleeping. I've been very worried about my mom. And I think, um, you know, I posted a video that was probably a little bit like kicking the dog. And I think I knew I was kicking the dog at the time. You know, it's not any one person's fault. I just know that a mom is gonna keep taking care of these patients, which she should, but she is going in there without the proper protective equipment. And there's such a high chance that she is going to contract this. And she is 66 years old. And she is about a year and a half post breast cancer. And you know, I just, I just can't lose her. I just can't. And I miss my children, you know, my boys that live with, that don't live with me. My son in Baton Rouge and my son that's a teacher. You know, they haven't, haven't, haven't seen them. And I can't right now because it's not the right thing to do. And I miss them and I worry about them. Okay, we're gonna go in with some foundation. Should actually use that new lip liner by Bite Beauty. Do the Bite Beauty. Gotta get a new mirror set up for you guys. Cause I know I'm always looking away, looking at the mirror. Feels creamy. It makes your lips feel like you just put a hydrating lip balm on them. I have been trying the Stila Hide and Chic foundation again. Just so my face was so dry when I did my first review on it, and I wanted to just re take a look at that foundation and see if I like it any better. So I'm going in with that today. 
I'm going to go in with my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer first, though. I can tell already, because Chad, to get ready with me is probably going to be a little bit long. But I, I appreciate you being here with me, and I hope that you interact with me in the comments. And I hope that you can forgive me for being a little bit emotional. I know this is supposed to be a relief and a break from all that's happening in this world. And it is. But I think sometimes it's therapeutic just to share with each other what we're going through. I have never appreciated you all as much as I do now. The last few days with the comments and the interactions, they've really been wonderful. I'm reading every comment. Sometimes I haven't been as fast as getting back to you on them and that's because I am still working full time in the middle of this and my full time work has been a little longer than it usually is. Put a couple of pumps on my hand of the Stila Hide and Chic. It's very light. I always like to go back and give things another chance. I don't do first impressions with you guys. Rarely do I do first impressions. I like to try them, but I had tried this foundation for a week. But I have noticed that my face with my new some new skincare that I've been using has um, been much softer and much less dry. And so it doesn't really have as much dry spots to cling to. Of course, I still have texture, but I figured we'd, we'd give it another shot. I always want to be fair to brands. You know, you never want to be unfair. You never want to steer somebody to something or away from something without really having a good reason for doing so. I'm going to go into my eyes with my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. I'm going to link uh, two videos in the description too. My friend Cat with Cat's Eye Beauty and my friend Lisa Monique with Lisa Monique Beauty both did looks with the new Charlotte Tilbury Super Blue Palette and they each did a different kind of look than I did and both of them are a little bit better skilled at applying makeup than I am and their looks came out so pretty that I want you to see their looks as well as mine. And I said that I was going to do the boring palette but I almost want to do this purple palette. It's got some neutral tones in there and the colors of the purples are really pretty. This is definitely a good time to practice my makeup skills and to experiment a little bit with maybe bolder colors or colors that I wouldn't normally use. So I miss my boys. I miss my mom. Working a lot. But I have to say that I am really proud of my company and what they're doing for our patients. We've been working a lot of hours, but my company is uh, one of the largest dialysis providers in the world. And when it comes to things like this, they really take the high road for both their employers, for both their employees and their patients. And I am so proud to work for them. And I guess it's okay to say the name, but the name of the company is um, Fresenius Kidney Care. And they do an outstanding job with situations like this. There is nothing that they won't do to keep their patients and their staff safe. And it makes me so proud to be part of such a company. And there's nothing I wouldn't do for them in return for what they do for us, our patients and their employees. So today I'm gonna use the Chanel Le Petulant blush. This is so pretty. This is such a pretty spring blush by Chanel. This came out with their spring summer 2020 collection. 
this shade. So I'm going to take my Farrah brush and I'm going to go into I'm going to go into the color Full of Soul, which is this color right here. I'm going to go into the crease. It's very pretty. lid I am going to go in with this very light color which is Cooper I'm just going to sweep it across it's also going to be my under brow color Okay, so we are going to punch it up. I'm going to use this dark color for a smoke color. I'm going to go into that outer V. Kind of make that seven. And it looks so dark on here, but really it blends out to a nice color. I think that's a really pretty color. I actually really like it. Surprise. Not really one for bold eye looks, but while we're off, we're not really going places, I think I'm going to start experimenting with some color just for fun, because why not? That's going to be my new phrase, because why not? Okay, so I will clean up those edges and see what this sparkly color can do. This is called So Funky. I think that's appropriate for that kind of metallic-y color. I don't know how to go on with the brush. It's I'm kind of going into that inner corner of my eye and just blending it towards that more smoky color. Go in my crease a little bit with this color. I just want to see what it does.
That is a beautiful spring color. Of course, I want to use this purple color in the middle. Look at that color, how pretty. So this is another one of my Farrah brushes. Kind of that angled, thin, densely packed brush. Let's see how that does as a liner. The name of that color, by the way, is Let's Groove. That makes a pretty liner color. And I think it would be good for all of us to groove right now. There's no better time than the present to groove. So I think we should all get our groove on. Yes. With this color. This is a gorgeous liner color. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle that with a little bit of this Pat McGrath Light Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Powder. I've been really enjoying this for setting concealer underneath my eyes. And that's because I have to clean them. So I'm going with the ones that I haven't used in a while because they're clean. That might be something I do tonight, is clean my brushes. Of course, this is my eye with my broken off eyelashes in the middle. This would probably, while I'm experimenting with all these things, be a great time to experiment with some false lashes. I think I'm going to put in an order for that and I'll let you guys share my lack of finesse or skill with that and we'll see how that goes together. Because <laughs> why not, right? And we're all friends here. If I screw it up, oh well. We can laugh at me together. I love this color. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I think I might try to do a, a look, like a one eyeshadow look or a two eyeshadow look with these two colors. I think that's pretty much my finished look. Of that darker color, I think, in the crease. Let's groove color.
So that's the Pure and Trolls World Tour collaboration palette in the color Funk. And that's the color Diorific by Dior. Highlight, I'm gonna use the illuminating, is it Rodial, Rodial, Rodial? It's a soft focus glow drops. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced, turn up the light, and I'm going to go in with a soft focus, kind of as a finishing powder, just to buff everything out. I have not been disappointed in this palette at all. I have definitely enjoyed it and I'm getting my money's worth out of it. Because why not? So what do you guys think? Palette's not too bad. It was it was very blendable. I think that the colors blended easy. They got lighter real easy. Um, so to get this intense pigment, you really like have to pack it on and then kind of not blend it too much because if you if you uh, blend it out, I think it diffuses the pigmentation of the color really easy. But if you pat it on where you want it, and then not blend too much, but just blend a little bit. You can get that great pigmentation. But if you don't want a dark deep color, you can definitely diffuse it out. So I think they're nice. Surprisingly, I think I could enjoy these palettes a little more than I originally thought. They wouldn't have been coming in the trend mood box. I can promise you I would not have picked them up. Because, I, like I said, I just don't go for those gimmicky kind of things like Barbie or Trolls or Elsa or whatever. I just like um, 
typically like palettes that are just traditional. I did pick up the Trend Mood box with these in it because I do like pure eyeshadows. And this did not disappoint. And I kind of went heavier than I usually do just because why not? But I know that I could get an everyday color with this as well. And I look forward to trying the other palettes with you guys while everything is kind of in limbo. So I know I could do the classical one really easy. But I think next time we'll play with this and we'll see what we can come up with. Because why not? I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I may do that other palette look tomorrow while I have some time. I really am kind of thinking about ordering that Madison Reed or Esalon and covering my roots at home because they're getting kind of out of hand. So until next time, go and live like Mel.